Hi, this is a demonstration of remote stepper motor controller system. So stepper motors are uh, quite different from DC motors since they have the ability to break down a full rotation into small steps. It allows the user to control the rotation angle of the motor with precision. And DC motors uh, rotate when we apply terminal voltage. But stepper motors are built with electromagnets with each having a different alignment. When a particular electromagnet is powered, the gear teeth are aligned as per that particular electromagnet. And this is how we can achieve desired rotation. So, for this system here, we have a A05 family microcontroller. The microcontroller is interfaced to the LCD screen to display settings and other usage statistics to the user. And it's also interfaced to a RF modem here. The RF modem is, gonna, is used to receive signals sent by the RF transmitter and these signals are then passed on to the microcontroller. Uh, this is the RF transmitter here and the microcontroller is in turn connected to a stepper motor and this is the stepper motor here. The stepper motor is used to demonstrate the movement uh, as per user sent uh, request. So in this system uh, we have configured it to uh, introduce delay in particular uh, in between particular steps of its rotation so you know if this as a, since the step uh, stepper motor moves in steps so you know we introduce delay such as 10 milliseconds 20 30 40 80 and it goes up to a maximum of 990 milliseconds and a minimum of 10 milliseconds so let's see how the system works Now the system has started, let's use the RF remote here. This is a battery tower remote with RF transmitter and push buttons. So let's uh, start the motor to run in power direction first. So the motor is running in power direction with uh, a 100 millisecond delay. So we can uh, lower as well as increment the delay. So let's try incrementing it. So it's 150, 160. You know, as the delay increases, the motion is going to be slower because it's going to take more time uh, to for every individual step. So as we increment, as you can you can see, its uh, motion is becoming slower. It's taking more time for each step. So this can go to a maximum of 990. We'll see that later. And similarly, we can decrement the delay so that uh, the steps will be, uh, you know, steps will be quite faster. So it's 220, 200, 210, 180. 70, 150. So as you can see, the motion is uh, quite faster now. So this is the minimum value that is 10 millisecond delay. So this is how it moves in forward. Similarly, we can switch it to uh, move in backward direction, the opposite one. So as you can see now it is moving with the same time delay in backward direction. Similarly we can uh, increment decrement its speed in backward direction too. Uh, and one more important feature here is that uh, we can stop the motor anytime we need by pressing both these buttons here. And after stopping the mo motor we can directly increment or decrement the delay to the particular value we want. Now let's uh, see how this works. Let's increment the value. The value will be incremented uh, very fast in this mode. So this is the maximum value 990. So let's start the motor in this value. It's going to move very slowly. After 990 milliseconds of delay. Similarly we can stop it again. 
set it to minimum value. Now let's set it to minimum value. Again. So this is a very useful system that can be used in various uh, industries and also for various uh, you know innovative applications as desired. So this is how the project works. Thank you.